How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of New Super Mario Brothers. Last time we began World 3, and this time we should be finishing it off, beginning with 3-B. So without any further ado, let's hop right in, and let's get things started. 3-B, we're dealing with warp pipes. Okay, wow, I actually hit that piranha plant? I'm very impressed with myself. And I hit that one too. Hey, we're off to a pretty good start in terms of killing piranha plants. I mean, I'm just getting a head start on Smash Brothers Ultimate, you know? I mean, come on. Okay, I'm gonna destroy you. Can I head into these warp pipes at all, or am I out of luck? Can I, no, not go down that one? What's in here? Nothing, nothing, just coins. Hey, there's my first star coin, I think. Um, I can't reach that there, though, so I'm just gonna continue on, I guess? Hello, I'm gonna destroy you, mini, mush uh, mini mushroom pipes. Nothing there. Okay, so this one's the one that leads to the promised land, aka the first star coin. Alright, I need... I just said I need to be careful in terms of the hitting of the Piranha Plants star. That's not gonna do anything for me. I'm just gonna head back to the top, grab my first star coin, and make my way back through the bottom screen. Or since we've already seen that, I'm actually gonna do something different and cut that out entirely because it's kind of redundant. And, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. My. That's what I get for not showing the bottom screen. For not doing the transition. <laughs> I got what I deserved. Okay, let's try this again. This time with taking damage. I meant this time with feeling, but I couldn't get that out in time. Because, yeah, I ended up getting hit. Anyway, halfway point. Got our second star coin. That's great. I believe if you try... Hitting this from the bottom, it's a uh, invisible block, so you're actually blocked from getting it from the bottom. Uh, so definitely take the top route, because the top route is the right route, I guess. Alright, anyway, uh, let's be careful, because I do not want to get hit on my way to getting that third and final star coin, and unfortunately I'm forced to not get a big number on the flagpole, because... Unless I wanted to backtrack and do the fancy jumping, then that wouldn't have really worked, and I would have risked losing my Fire Flower, and I wasn't about doing that. So yeah, I'll I'll just stick to I'll just stick to that. Anyway, I would move on to the next level, you know, straight forward in front of me. But technically speaking, if we're going by the map, this level comes first just barely. So let's take on three dash three. Oh, and it's a uh, water level, it looks like. Hey, a 1-up. I will take that free 1-up. Thank you very much. And Okay, we're going down the green one. Uh, I was hoping that the gold one would have led me to the promised bloopers. Oh, no. It's bloop time. I don't like bloopers. Bloopers are mean. Their patterns are weird. And I... I, I I guess I'm afraid of them. I don't. I don't know. They're, I mean, they're not really scary. It's just their patterns are ridiculous, and you can't ever really control a blooper. Speaking of which, c come on. Yeah. See, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. Stupid blooping bloopy bloop. Okay. Can we? Can we not do this? Can we not do this? Go away. Blooper. Blooper, go away. You know what? I'm just going to take the hit. I need to take the hit anyway, because I need to make my way over here before the uh, before the time runs out there, because, uh, yeah, the jets blow on the warp pipes, and you can't access this area if you do that. So let's make our way over here down to this warp pipe. There we go. Perfect. And now we need to navigate the underwaters with the bloopers, which is terrible, especially because they're introducing these bloopers that spew out babies. Uh. Go, 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 go. Uh. It doesn't matter if I took a hit. I, I, it kind of matters, actually, but 
as long as I make my way out of that safely, I am fine. And I made my way out of that as safe as I possibly could. Oh no, actually, am I screwed when I... Go, 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 because bloopers spawn with that final star coin. Go, oh no, 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 get up into that warp pipe to finish off this level, because... Oh, if those bloopers caught up to me, it would have been a very bad... How did I not get the one-up? Are you kidding me? Anyway, if the bloopers caught up to me there, that would have been a very, very bad time, and yeah, I would have probably cried, so thank goodness I made it out of there alive. Now, we have two different options to go to, and I think I'm gonna go down to the other one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could use this power up here at this toad house. Yeah, I need a pocket item at the very least to use in the next level, because right now I'm small Mario, and that doesn't really fly. There we go, fire flower. Pretty much always guaranteed to get a fire flower. Again, unless you rig the system, I believe pausing with start can uh, lead to whatever power-up you pause at. Your next thing you get if you immediately unpause and then hit A to jump. Uh, anyway... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go here first. Now, this is 3 dash C, but there's also the star coin thing. No, I'm not gonna unlock that yet. Uh, in fact, I should probably say that I'm probably. I should probably say that I'm probably. Uh, I'm most likely going to stop unlocking most of these star coin paths, just because it gets a little harder to save the game uh, later on. Uh, in the tougher worlds, and I could use all the save points I could possibly get. So I'm just gonna do 3C, and I'm probably actually going to skip this 1-Up house, which is a bit sad, but it probably needs to be done. Unless I skip out on later one. Actually, yeah, no, I, I, have thir I have over 30 lives. I'm content with lives for now. If I get under, let's say, 10, then yeah, I would probably get new ones. Any- oh, Bernard is back. Bernard, you stay away from me. Bernard, stay away. What did I tell you last time we met Bernard? I told you, you need to stop doing this. We need to- cheap, cheap. We need to- we need to stop doing this, Bernard. Can't- we can't keep doing this, Bernard. Okay, Bernard seems to be gone for now. We reached the halfway point. We got our fire flower. That's great. Oh, uh, nope. There's Bernard again. Bernard, go away. Bernard. B Bernard. Come on. Go away, Bernard. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Bernard. Bernard! Mm. Oh, wow. I just peeped the mic very badly as I died. Alright, this time I'm killing Bernard so I can get the star coin and not lose my power up. Thank you very much. Okay, and I'm gonna skip over. Ugh. Kill Bernard. Kill that drastic Bernard. Okay. Oh no, I needed. I need this to. I need to activate this thing. Dang it, I thought I could do this no problem, but. Oh, whatever. Okay. Uh. Nope. This isn't gonna work. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm gonna miss out on the third star coin. Actually, no, I won't. As long as I kill Bernard. Where are you, Bernard? Actually, no, I do. I need this Koopa to be alive. Okay, I need that one Koopa to be alive. Otherwise, this doesn't work, and I need to time my jumps correctly. Actually, can I... I want to... I'm gonna take the hit, because the Fire Flower is kind of detrimental here. So I'm gonna take the hit. Go ahead, hit me. Thank you. Oh, the P-Switch is gone. I did that for nothing. Oh, that's great. Okay, what about this? A star? Okay. That's... Not really good for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back into this level to get that star coin because you drop down from another warp pipe to get that, and I can't get that. Although, maybe I could get that if I had like a mini mushroom, maybe? I don't know. It'd probably take a whole bunch of circumstances in order for that to happen. Anyway, can I please jump on the block? Thank you. 
Thank you. Alright, 1-Up, yay! Since if I'm gonna be skipping that 1-Up house, I would like to get a 1-Up from one of the flagpoles that I... That I... I don't even know how to word that without offending anybody. Because I could make a firefighter joke, I could make a stripper joke. Or should I even say, no, that's not very family friendly to say stripper. Uh, dancer, performer, performer, yeah, that works. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go back into this level to get the star coin. Alright, I'll meet you back in just a moment. Alright, here we go, round two. This time I am hopefully going to do this correctly. Yes, indeed, there we go. That was a bit close, but... It ended up working out and literally you fall on a log that leads to the star coin. It's, I guess it's a little bit ridiculous, but hey, at least there's no secret exit in this level too. All right, let's go ahead and jump and jump to get a one-up once again at the top of the flagpole. We actually went through this level quite quickly to get back to where we were. I guess when you're a, no, I shouldn't say I'm a professional Mario player because last time I said that, the latter half of World 2, it was a nightmare. Anyway, we could skip all the way to the castle, which would be... It would be very, very nice, but uh, unfortunately... I need to go visit a certain Mario staple. The Ghost House. Let's go ahead and do this level at least two times. All right, ghost house time, and we should get a fire flower from that. Thank you very much. Okay, now, where do I go first? Well, looks like I need to head up first, so let's go ahead and head up. Very slow climbing. You need to be a professional button masher in order to get up there very, very quickly and not waste your time, but luckily those uh, yellow buttons respawn, unlike the P-Switch ones. Let's head over this way, and let's not hit that one, because we don't need to go up there yet. We need to go over here first, and we need to jump and get that star coin. Let's head back in here before we lose any more power-ups. Hello, Boo. I'm going to turn here so I can avoid you. Alright, and as soon as this starts coming down, hit the button. Hit, hit. There we go. I'm surprised I actually timed that correctly so I could get the second star coin. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, though, we need to... Oh, God. We need to hit... Ah, oh, it was too late to hit that again immediately. That's okay. Also, the boo is in my way. Uh... Luckily, this goes up a way, so I can just do this. Although, I'll be barely making it, but still, I made it. Alright, so down this way leads to... Oh, I know what this is. Alright, so we're gonna need to be very, very quick about this. This is another uh, switch, but it leads to a door right there. And that only appears after hitting the switch. So we need to run over here quickly and head inside the door. Perfect. We did it. Awesome. Good. Okay. Another fire flower there, which I will gladly take because I could use my uh, power up. I don't want to use my pocket one either. So let's jump up here. Uh, that is an extra power. Actually, no, I need the blue shell, I think. Uh... Ah, man, I was a little too late. Uh, yeah, I think I need the blue shell to get the third star coin, which sucks, but hey, it's a thing that's happened. Yeah, because over... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, never mind, yeah. I need the blue shell for that. That sucks. I think that's... Wait, is this the secret or the real exit? Oh, this is the real one, okay. Hey, we got the one-up, too! Nice! Uh, so we need the blue shell for the secret exit, and most likely the third star coin, which... <sighs> ghost houses aren't exactly my favorite. I, I... yeah, ghost houses aren't really my favorite. Anyway, I'm gonna hop back in, hopefully get a blue shell on my first try on that roulette wheel at the halfway point, and, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Oh my god, I got a blue shell on my first try. Now I need to keep it. 
which is uh, going to be so difficult. I just need to avoid, avoid the pumpkin Goombas. There we go. Okay, I did it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to... How can the pumpkin Goombas sur How can the pumpkin Goombas climb that? Come on, you can't be seriously doing that to me. The pumpkin Goombas can slide under that, but not me. Oh, third star coin. Not a secret exit? Just the third star coin? Is but there's a cannon right by this level. How is there no secret... Maybe there is a secret exit, and I'm just hallucinating or something. I don't know. I'll find out eventually, but hey, I got another one up after I failed the first flagpole attempt, so very good that I didn't just try to get the flagpole, because, yeah, more one ups the merrier. And now I'm above 40, so hooray, it works out even. Yeah, look, there's a cannon right here. There has to be a secret exit. I'm not going to do that right now, because I think that cannon goes to a world we can normally access anyway. Uh, so, I mean, we end up in all the worlds eventually anyway, so I technically don't need to take any of these cannons, but who knows, I might show one of them off, like the world one-off one -off eventually. Anyway, it is time to take on the castle, so let's just hop right in. Let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Oh, no, the skewers. Oh, God, skewers are awful. Uh, fire flower... Actually, I'm going to voluntarily get hit here because the blue shell and skewers is not a very good combination. Oh, be very careful here because our first star coin is right here. I don't want to be skewered. There we go. And I just need to be careful when jumping up, such as right here. Perfect. Oh, my God. Oh, uh. okay. Very, very good. Oh, Womps. Hello. Oh. Oh, I need to go from above for that one. Okay. Be careful, careful, ca careful, careful. At least that's not, uh, at least Bernard isn't over there in the depths of that water, because, you know, that'd be pretty bad. Alright, so the Thwomp automatically drops as soon as I make my way over there for the first Star Coin, which is very, very good. I assume you fall down as well. You do indeed. Unfortunately, I don't think this is like Mario 64. I don't think I can ground pound them to destroy them, so... Just gotta make my way through here. Oh, goodness. That was close. Oh, this one! Oh, this star coin is so ter- Oh, my goodness. So terrible. Okay. Almost choked on my own saliva. Kids, don't choke on your own saliva. That That's bad. Ooh, I actually got that without taking a single hit in the first, you know, getting there. Okay, now let's not take a hit. I went too deep in the water and died. I went too deep in the water. I would have actually preferred getting hit by the skewer instead of going down in the water enough to die. Are you kidding me? I don't get hit by the skewer, but I die in the water. That's what I get for not mashing A. Mashing the A button is good, kids. In all video games, always mash the A button. And now I have to collect two star coins all over again. This time, we'll probably not be as successful as the first. Alright, I took the hit that time, and I... would Rather, okay, I made it through that safely that time. I would have rather taken another hit to ensure I actually make it through here this time. But no worries, I still was Super Mario. I'm gonna use my pocket fire flower because it's time for the boss fight. And you, oh, uh, well, it's not Bernard or Big Bertha. It's actually a different beast of a, uh of a fish. I don't remember what your name is, though. I will probably look it up or something. Alright, that's one hit down. I technically got partial hits on you with, uh, the Fire Flower. It was only one hit, actually, but... Oh, uh, well, wasn't able to hit you there. Okay. And there we go. That's it. Oops. 
And you led me to World 5 instead of World 4, but I mean, you did visit World 4 already, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna blast off Warp to World 4, and next time on New Super Mario Brothers, we will begin said world. So with that, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.